Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 7 and 8 of Noble Lady Naughtiness. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. Yeah, are you okay with that? Aww. And watch over her too. Yeah. That's literally me and Cody. <laughs> me and my dog. <laughs> of course, babe. Just, you know, making her <laughs> lovey dovey babies. And there they go. No. <laughs> Be like, I don't respond to you. I only respond to Charlotte. <laughs> I, I, once again, I freaking can't with you. <laughs> right? You say that, but... <laughs> That's BS and you know it.
Okay. Not the flip, though. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Will you hush? <laughs> Good job. No. <laughs> Right? Don't be mean. Good question. Self taught in my butt. Took a lot out of you. Oh. Oh, it worked. <laughs> That, that is definitely my dog, Cody. That's not happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> right?
Did you just change into a woman? <laughs> Just a woman with a deep behind voice. <laughs> okay. You in love, L O V E, love amore. Did you not want to get in, Ellen? Ew, I would love that. Oh. Now why are you trying to scare her? Don't do that. <laughs> you gonna have her get nightmares. Oh my god, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Hmm? <gasps> the mushrooms, though. But why are they here? I'm guessing that's her. I'll call you Dorothy for short. Unfortunately, yeah. No, no, Charlotte. <laughs>
basically like super super rare. I mean, you starting to look like the freaking Brady Bunch now. I mean, damn. That are, um, there's mine and our kids. She were by the dozen kids. You ain't got 12 kids, though, but, you know, you got, <laughs> your family is now a little bit bigger than it was in the first half. That's a good question. Right, and we really don't want to lose this family that we have, so... I'm not really surprised, because she already has the bed downstairs in the basement and everything, so. Okay. Alan. Mm-hmm. I'm a little scared about what this thing is. not read a romance and you want to use Alan and Charlotte as an example you hid <laughs> she's been in hiding for 30 years because she couldn't write <laughs> girl that is some Shigure fruits basket type ish cause Shigure would do some type of shit like that <laughs> He really would, though. Well, he might as well help you. Nope. <laughs> you two are gonna be <laughs> Duh. You guys are gonna inspire her to make some new, you know, 
books or series or just a book, a one-off. You know what? Dorothy, you know who she reminds me of? Literally, okay, no. (laughs) Not only me, but in in this weird sense that I'm about to say. um, Literally any type of um, fan Arthur for, like, any fandom trying to get, like, any ounce of inspiration and stuff, and they look to, like, real life situations or just like things that they've seen every day on their daily basis and they're like oh snap I want to write something about this but I mean because you know who the good behind writers are the best ones the tumblr ones the in the AO3s man because they be doing some good behind ish like forget like some of my favorite Arthurs and stuff so anything for mangakas and like um Anyone else that I would list, but I'm not going to. But <laughs> some fan authors, fan writers, when they know how to write, they be getting in. As someone who used to write like um, fan fiction on one celebrity and the guy that she was coupled with on Dancing with the Stars, and I was girl, I was writing into the wee hours of the morning. Sometimes I was up until five o'clock in the morning writing. And I would not go to sleep until the next morning, writing and stuff. And just when you get that burst of inspiration, you're just like, damn, I feel like I can take over the world or I can do anything. And I think it's really cute that, you know, Dorothy is kind of like that because, yeah, 30 years in hiding because (laughs) your behind did not have an idea at the time 30 years ago and that you want to, like, mm-hmm. The word isn't really relapse, it's more like rediscover in a way or revamp her whole thing of like the next book that she wants to do and everything. And using Alan and Charlotte is a really interesting idea. So it just what makes me wonder how that's going to go. And from the previews in the next episode, it looks like we're going to get scenes of everything. So it seems like we're going to kind of go the Oran High School House Club route where it's like, oh, we're going to go like this. Like insert A or example A, example B, example C. And they're all going to be like film parts. <laughs> it's going to be so freaking cute. But go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight and three, two, one, go. Told you. <laughs> it would be Romeo and Juliet as the first section. And now, we kiss. Uh-uh! Mm? <laughs> I thought you were actually holding her.
Cap. So follow it to a T. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is a win-win situation. Yeah, unfortunately, no, you don't. Then you're not getting in the house. But she does like you. She didn't agree with you. <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh my god. He looks cute with his hair pushed back. Look at the big behind band-aid. <laughs> and besides, it'll be fun. That's right, Lou. Well, I mean, you already played Newlyweds in a way, so why not just do it again? He looks good in the suit. At least say it with more passion. Oh my god. Just pretend the cameras and everyone else isn't there. Alright, let's go. Take two.
No. Dying. It's a nickname. You're supposed to call each other by nicknames. Yeah. Oh, of course she is. She she is enjoying this just as much as I am. Nope. You probably have, like, what, two, three, four more, you know, situations to do? We're only eight minutes into the episode. Loose air, oh my god. Woo! Yeah, don't you care about her? Wow. <laughs> Now, kiss. Mm hmm One hand. One hand. Oh! But this is also your true feelings, babe. The word wasn't guardian. The word was lover.
Ooh. No. I think she's having fun. See? Did my dog come in? Because my door opened like a second, but no. And you'll be playing Cinderella. <laughs> That's perfect. Ah. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look deeply into his eyes. Fall more in love with him. Duh. You know. The ritual. Those gorgeous red eyes though. No. Uh oh. What day on Dorothy? No. Thanks, you guys. The seat. No. <laughs> yeah, take that indirect kiss.
because you love him. I love the fact that it was her hair, you know, her hairpin and stuff instead of the shoe because, you know, it's always the shoe. Give me like five more minutes. Let me finish this episode, then we can go. Sorry. Mm hmm. Oh! That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Who would have think? Who would have thought that he would come today? Thank you. <laughs> She's still trying, though. You go bye bye now. Okay. Well, he is definitely not finishing what that sentence was. <laughs> well, what's wrong? Well, of course, we ain't going to see that until probably later on tonight when I watch the last four episodes of this show. Okay. Now, the... Of course, as I said in the previous video, of course, duh, it gave hella feels towards the episodes of Oran High School Host Club, where, of course, you're imagining a scenario with someone and such. That was uber adorable. I, I love the fact is, like, with each one, either one of them kind of got close to confessing, but it just didn't fall through. And we know that it's going to happen. I'm hoping in the last four episodes that I do have left, it does happen because once again you cannot fathom that these two belong together and they're so cute and wonderful together they bring the best out of each other um i feel bad for dorothy because now her ass got <laughs> she gotta finish that novel regardless <laughs> once again i mean seriously she gave me hella shigure vibes and such and how no matter what boy was over here plotting not to finish his novel by his due date and such 
And <laughs> his voice is like, oh my god, he's like, my life a living hell when he don't give me this damn manuscript so I can go turn this ish in. Like, stop BSing around and help me to help yourself. <laughs> And that's exactly what it was for Dorothy. Like, seriously, help me to help yourself so that you can get paid. You want money, right? Right! So just write the damn book. <laughs> I, I love the fact that they just use, like, the cutesiest voices ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he, he definitely would use that voice in, um... <laughs> <laughs> what to say this is Rudy if something happened to Rudy where he's a tiny baby like oh my god that'd be so good but I really loved like the fact is okay when he put his hands on the wall to like trap her that that's a weakness for me like I'm sorry like if you do that fold it <laughs> fold like a mother effort like uh, down bad I'm just saying I'd be really down bad but no this was a really cute episode with the different scenarios and such I love the fact that they all did it together it, it just was like a little cute family outing and such and so it's just like oh my god babies I can't with them once again but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 7 and 8 of Noble Lady Naughtiness if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day Join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes 9 and 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!